As the military fights a growing epidemic of sexual assaults in the ranks, outrage from the commander-in-chief to victims' rights groups. I have no tolerance for this. Uh, I have communicated this to the Secretary of Defense. One advocacy group says for that to happen, a big part of the military justice system must change. Removing commanding officers from the process of criminal justice absolutely would strengthen the system. The Pentagon says that's a non-starter. The ultimate authority uh, has to remain within the command structure. Yet lawmakers this week plan to introduce sweeping legislation, including stripping commanding officers of the authority to throw out jury decisions in some criminal cases, following outrage over two Air Force generals overturning a pair of sexual assault convictions. More scandal this week after the Air Force Sexual Assault Prevention Office chief was charged with sexual battery. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel says he's ordered a series of steps and reviews. In its report released Tuesday, the Defense Department estimates some 26,000 service members may have been sexually assaulted last year, with the vast majority of victims not reporting the attack. Many in and out of the Pentagon recognize a lack of faith in military justice. The military leadership really does not have its finger on the pulse of, of service members or in terms of, of, of what types of changes need to happen. However it's done, the president says the consequences must be swift. Prosecuted, stripped of their positions, court martial, fired dishonorably discharged. Sagar Megani Associated Press, The Pentagon.